The Louisville Cardinals are at odds of 40 to 1 to win the college football national championship. The team season win total is set at nine games. Last season saw the Cardinals go 9 and 4 straight up while going 5 7 and 1 against the spread. The Louisville Cardinals did not disappoint in 2016, starting off the season 9 and 1 with their sole loss at Clemson in a close game. Louisville was in the national title hunt until that shocking blowout loss at Houston in week 11 that derailed their season. Now in 2017 with Lamar Jackson back and a defense that returned seven starters, they are right back in the national title hunt with the 16th best odds at 40 to one in the NCAA. With by far the easiest schedule in the ACC and the 62nd overall, a season win total of nine may be a little bit short. They should be favored in all of their games except two, the games versus Clemson and Florida State, with their only other road games other than FSU against North Carolina, North Carolina State, Wake Forest, and Kentucky. With all of their home games saved for Clemson easily winnable, we have trouble coming up with a third loss that would leave their win total under 10 games. We'll bet on Heisman Trophy winner Bobby Petrino and this season defense to get double-digit wins this season. Though they will have to reload a bit on offense for 2017, sophomore phenomenon Lamar Jackson is back for his junior season after breaking the school's all-time record with 6,925 yards while putting up 42.5 points per game. Co-offensive coordinators Lonnie Galloway and Mike Summers return for an offense that has a lot to live up to following a remarkable season. Finishing with a mind-blowing 51 total touchdowns on 3,523 yards, passing, and 1,571 yards rushing, Lamar Jackson became the first player in the ACC to throw for 15 touchdowns and run for 15 touchdowns in a single season. The first Heisman Trophy winner in school history and the youngest Heisman winner in NCAA history. The team did finish off the season with a whimper in their bowl game against LSU, and they will be returning to a less experienced offense. Lamar Jackson is still capable of matching 2016's crazy output with a full year of experience in Petrino's high-octane attack. Louisville's rushing attack relied heavily on Lamar Jackson, and for good reason, but how effective the backfield was should not be underestimated. Brandon Radcliffe was the main threat rushing for 903 yards on only 138 attempts for a 6.5 yards per carry average, which was even better than Jackson's 6.0 average. But Radcliffe will move on. Jeremy Smith was second in line with a 387 yards on 57 carries with a better still yards per carry average of 6.7. The Cardinals will bring in the very highly recruited freshman Colin Wilson to challenge the now senior Jeremy Smith for the feature back role behind Jackson. Last year, Louisville returned every wide receiver on their roster. In 2017, they will lose those two senior starters while also parting ways with their number two leader in receptions, Cole Hicotini. Everybody else returns, however, and though less experienced, they are still big. Their third leading wide receiver, Junior Jalen Smith will be back to start alongside senior Reggie Bonifant. With the reigning Heisman winner back at the helm, we wouldn't expect much of a drop-off in the receiving numbers for the Cardinals. The Louisville offensive line was quite experienced last year. This year they will lose a few players, but still return an equal amount of career starts that they did in 2016. Add in a highly recruited junior LG Juco transfer, and this line may even be a slight upgrade from last year's, as long as redshirt freshman Robbie Bell can assimilate himself effectively as the one underclassman starting. New defensive coordinator Peter Sermon, former DC at Mississippi State, will inherit a defense season with the experience of seven returning starters. With all seven of those returning now seniors, and with five of the top eight tacklers from a year ago back, this defense has the potential to improve upon its strong 23.8 points per game and 322 yards per game allowed in 2016. Two of those senior starters will reside on the defensive line, Drew Bailey and DeAsian Richardson. Add in another senior Juco transfer Trevon Young and Louisville will have the experience up front to improve. They will suffer a key loss with the departure of two-time All-ACC player D'Angelo Brown to the NFL but should be able to compensate for this loss with their experience. At linebackers where Louisville will suffer the most from losses in talent, 
as they will have to replace three All-ACC backers, Devontae Fields, Keith Kelsey, and Josh Harvey Clemens, who was taken in the sixth round NFL draft, will all move on, leaving the Cardinals with some major holes to fill. The second leading tackler 2016 senior Stacy Thomas will certainly be a welcome return, and with senior James Hearns also returning, Louisville does have the experience and talent to help ease the pain of these substantial losses. Losing their all-time career field goal leader as well as their punter did not stop Louisville from improving on special teams last year. This year with more experience, this very young unit will only lose their long snapper and should improve in all aspects. The Cardinals should improve all around, even with the loss of some major talent. And with their schedule, we see them going over nine wins this season.